Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on a BMW and as you can see I'm sitting in it. And also you can see the back glass is actually glued in. And also check it out. Check it out. We have windshield. But we also have a rainy day today. It was rainy. At least right now it's not raining. Here's how the car looks from outside. Man, check it out. Can't wait. Put the whole thing together. I still have to paint a bunch of parts. But man, I can put the lots of stuff together. I can get the doors together. Flares, yes, I have to paint them. But hey, I can install rear bumper. Oh, actually not all the way, kind of maybe because remember the rear section needs to be painted too, but oh gosh, I can't wait to get it all together and try it out. What is it like about complete car? We all been waiting for this moment for such a long time. It's been two years since I started this project. I should say two and a half years. Yes, about one year I could not work on it completely. Right now, let's load it up and before rain starts, let's go back home and start putting it together. Yes! <laughs> I got the BMW at the garage, unload everything. Uh, here's the bumpers. Man, everything looks so good, but I'm not happy with the paint job on the car. I'm not happy at all because I was rushing through. There's some things that I had to let it go. Actually, not let it go. I had to let it be and continue on. But those things doesn't bother me at all. There's few things. I found the run somewhere on the door on on the uh, on the body line actually right below body line and i believe there is another run uh, right below body line another run here and also notice on the video when i was editing that i have a ding on the driver's side quarter panel but that's not an issue the biggest issue for me to continue on this project is clouds and the paint job so there is uh, two tiers what I did wrong. First one, because I didn't have enough base for the whole car and I put the GM white underneath it uh, of Alpine white, which is actually a way different color. Alpine white, way yellower than GM white. And to show you guys difference is right here. This is a tinted Alpine white with the pearl and this is the alpine white uh, i mean oem color and gm oem color is actually a lot wider so first i applied gm white then alpine white and looked everything that was covered but also another thing could be is the way i applied this uh, pearl i believe that could be another thing and i could screwed up on the pearl so on the camera you guys see everything looks good right everything looks perfect but let me try catch an angle so you can see what i'm talking about about the clouds i mean it's probably not gonna be noticeable for you guys but i think it's kind of is you see there's a light and dark spots so there's a kind of yellow spot yeah you can clearly see here and there and the whole car is actually like that and it's not noticeable outside but it's noticeable i don't know can you guys see over there can you? no if i'm zooming in you're not gonna be able to see it but anyway the whole car in the clouds this side it's least hood it's pretty noticeable i don't know how to show you guys but it bothers me 
and at the same time some there too the whole car so this is really bothers me and at the same time i'm not willing to go through this again this year not just uh, because i'm lazy or something it's because we already got into go cold season it's already in november so we already start getting negative um in celsius not in the fahrenheit so we already had a couple nights where it was 27 so that is cold and in order to paint this vehicle i need to go back into a shop there's no baking system so it leaves me only with one option continue assembling that's something uh, i know a lot of people is like val why you worry about this and that Oh, why you worry about those clouds? I mean, I can take care of the uh, runs, no problem. Why you worry about clouds? Because this is not the big, uh, this is not the Honda Civic up to $10,000 where you can, okay, you maybe can leave it. This is still a 70 to $80,000 vehicle. It's not that it's 80, 70, $60,000 vehicle bothers me. What bothers me is I spent so much time, so much effort on this vehicle and I want it to be perfect. I want it to be no issues, I want it to be ideal, you know, there's... And I understand this was a big project to paint at the same, at, the, at once, you know, but at the same time, it bothers me when somebody's gonna come over to it and like, Oh, what you got there, clouds? Yeah, I know it's their problem. But, like I said, I like things to be perfect and when the things are not perfect, they bothers me. I know it's not gonna be noticeable outside, under certain light. Uh, pretty sure it's gonna be noticeable at the direct light, when there's gonna be direct light and the people dealing with the pain. On the average person, it's probably not gonna be noticeable. But I asked my wife if she can see anything wrong with the uh, pain. She said everything looks good, she likes everything, but she sees there's some kind of like a dust. So what I'm saying about the clouds, when in the daylight you look at the clouds and there's, um, it's not a whole lot of clouds, but there's, you know, there's little ones here and there, here and there, here and there. That's exactly how pain in the job looks. So. That bothers me real bad, but I'm not willing to respray this vehicle in a cold condition unless, unless I'm gonna be able to find the paint boot with the baking system. With that, I say, let's just continue on the project. Screw the paint, I will live with it. Probably in the summertime, maybe springtime, maybe fall time, I will respray this vehicle since this vehicle is gonna be with us for a while, I, I decided we're gonna keep it since that's what's the start this channel. So it's gonna be around for a while. So what leads me to right now? Right now, I'm gonna start assembling doors. Door handles needs to be painted, all four of them, but I can install them without interfering with the door inside itself. See? Like uh, there's a wiring that I can pick with the picker, pull it out and install. No problem. So what I wanted to do, hopefully I'm gonna be able to do and finish that, reassemble all doors inside and as much possible outside. I'm gonna have to take this door apart because you can see there is a lot of glass also. And also you see, I got those um, rubber moldings off and in order to put them back, the glass is on the way. So I need to get that glass off. This is gonna be simple because this one has got it out already and that one is gonna be simple, also got it out. This door, I'm gonna have to take it apart because uh, first of all, we have a wrong panel on here. I'm gonna install the right panel and second of all, Second wall, second wall. There's a, uh, I believe there's a wrong wiring for this door because M wiring have a different uh, wiring, I believe, because there's a two speakers, one low and one higher, if I'm not mistaken, or it's just a different uh, cover on the speaker. 
but also that door as you guys remember whoever remembers of the part 66 doesn't have this what is this called a uh, privacy thing so uh, that mechanism I need to install and see that's what I was talking about the speaker right here so let's start somewhere and see how far I can get in this episode <sighs> So I've got the rear door assembled, also you can see install the handle back because this handle takes apart easily, that's really nice. So there you go. And I like this soft closing cheek, closed. Let's repeat the same process with this door, but first let's get the fender off so I don't scratch it. First of all, second of all, I have to assemble a fender also. So there you go, kind of finished with this side. I lined the gap, man looks really good. What I don't really like is, I think this is slightly too far out. I don't know, maybe it should be like this. And I don't like how it's, you know, fender sticks out past the door slightly, slightly. But again, that could be how they made cause Fender pushed all the way in and as you guys know this body was not never in an accident so this gap looks beautiful throughout the door too so yeah I'm happy man oh I need to find the bolts I don't remember where I put the bolts for the strikers straight no this is not a striker uh what is it Comment down below, I don't remember. My brain doesn't work, it was a long of a day. Done here. Oh, I still have to put this uh, rubbers around, but again, I need to clean this out and reapply a new 3M and the rubber seal in there. But mainly I wanted to finish with the glass so I can roll them up and leave the vehicle outside because I need to paint a lot of stuff. Let's continue by installing headlight. 
completely finished with it uh, and I don't know maybe move on this side or we'll see let's just because I need to finish this gap and then also I don't remember if I mentioned this or not but I got the wrong headlight is the, no this is the passenger side so this is the driver headlight and I mean they look the similar and there's basically nothing different in them but there is see guys when I was purchasing this one I thought that's exactly the same right it says adaptive LEDs yep I mean look the same to me but I didn't realize there's a little reflector way over there no reflector also you can see LEDs here and no LEDs and the main thing is this ballast this one this one here and this one here totally different from this situation see maybe this one there and which one uh, one two oh wow well, see I only have two ballasts here and on this one I have three ballasts unfortunately $800 headlight is no good but the good thing is I can post it back on eBay and sell it maybe closer to a thousand thousand dollars since it's complete and prices went up or maybe even get eight hundred dollars of course the big and I charge that but hey at least I'm not gonna lose all eight hundred dollars a couple hundred but I was able to locate the right headlight that I'm looking for and it is thirteen hundred dollars so <laughs> uh we'll see uh today is friday end of the friday so i can't call that junkyard probably monday let's grab this headlight and let's just continue assembling huh right hand sauce f l e o 2 what is that i don't know oh man it's hefty it's actually pretty hefty that's and it's huge also So after installing the headlight, I went ahead and started making plan what I wanted to do with both of these doors and I realized it, that this door, see, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier, but original uh, door panel is somewhat decent shape, probably usable but uh, this privacy that you can pull it out nobody can see your kit or whatever it's damaged and i have a part 65 with the privacy stuff in there so in order to get that i need to get the rear door off in order to get the rear door off i need the daytime because current time is uh, 8 30 and i'm not willing i'm just tired and not willing to go there and deal with it so same thing with the front door uh, I have a front door over there also but I see uh, they fix all of it except top and also the bottom where the uh, uh, what is the handrest supposed to be red but they did black but I can live with that because the vehicle is getting older there's more BMW M's uh, X5M, X6M with that kind of interior uh, going to uh, for disassembly so in a year or two I will get good door panel right now they're too expensive the flooded one on eBay they currently have it for two years they still want $800 plus shipping so I think this is way too much that's all the information i'm gonna wrap it up unfortunately i'm gonna wrap it up this episode right here yes i really wanted to continue with it way more than i did but <laughs> you can see what i'm going through 
assembling this vehicle that I disassembled two and a half years ago. Yep. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. It means a lot to me. If you want to see inside scoop, what's going on, check out my Instagram at salvagemastervy. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you next one.